The leaders of 15 West African states are sending a delegation to Mali in the hope of restoring order amid the military junta that overthrew that country's president this week. And a coalition of opposition political parties have joined the armed forces in rejecting any foreign interference to the ousting of Ibrahim Boubacar Keita. Cheikh Umar Sissoko is a leader in the opposition coalition. Ils veulent venir. Ils viendront. They want to come. They will come, but we won't move. New Mali. We want a new Mali. And that's why tomorrow we're calling on our people inside and outside Mali to come out massively. Supporters of the new regime have been celebrating in the streets. Meanwhile, we are learning more about the men who have emerged as leaders of the coup. Colonel Asimi Goita has installed himself as the leader of the military junta. He's said to be one of the commanders of Mali's Autonomous Special Forces Battalion, a respected officer of a unit which has actively fought against the country's insurgency of Islamist militants. He's also participated in military training exercises with the United States. The four other officers who appeared with him in a televised address are colonels as well, believed to have long resumes in the field. Diplomatic sources say the delegation heading to Mali would be calling for the immediate release of Keita and be led by four heads of state, including former Nigerian president Goodluck Jonathan. However, another of the coalition leaders, Mantaga Tall, believes the president and his family are safer with them for now. It was necessary for the armed forces to intervene to secure them, to protect them and exfiltrate them. To ask that today, immediately, he be returned to his home is to risk his life. Who will be responsible? Late on Thursday, the coup's leaders ordered the country's borders reopened after they were also closed earlier this week.